Hey everyone, I'm John Wheeler and this is the ninth video in my series about what it's like to be a pedestrian in Red Deer. Now in this video, I'm going to walk from the Cool Beans bus to Art Alley, which is the alley directly behind the Ross Street patio. Now I first became interested in this particular space a few years ago, when this alley was host to an art festival called Nuit Blanche. And it got me thinking about how although we take great pride in our street fronts, we seem to take our back alleys for granted. When we think of our downtown as a cohesive network where one space is only as good as the other spaces which connect to it, then we can see how our back alleys have a lot of unrealized potential. Now I'm very cautious to criticize the design of our historic downtown because it wasn't that long ago when there were hitching posts and green elevators in our downtown. We've come a long way. Now, it's very important to identify what we currently have so that we can have the conversation about what we could have. Now currently our alleys are only for garbage and parking and there's a lot of decayed infrastructure which attracts a lot of graffiti and other negative elements. Now the way to enhance any public space is to have more positive elements and designs and that's exactly what Cool Beans does for this space. What was once a boarded up empty lot is now a vibrant public space that has become a landmark in our downtown. Now moving to the next block over, I noticed that there's a pedestrian entrance. Now back alley entrances can be a positive design for businesses and they can even enhance the quality of the spaces around them. Now clearly these entrances are for employees only, but what if back alleys were more permeable? What if customers could enter through the back alley? Moving along, let's consider this little park beside the old courthouse. This could have been left bare, or even fenced off, but instead, there's a little park here allowing for people to go between the alley and the street. There's nice park benches, a historic statue enhancing the culture and attractiveness of this space. What if there were more little parks like this connecting the alleyway to the main street? Now across the street from the old courthouse is the shining new Stantec Executive Building, and it really is a nice addition to our downtown. But check this out. There's a little hiding spot behind this pillar, right across from the entrance to the bank. Now I wonder where the criminals would hide. Now this next part is really cool. Welcome to Art Alley. I remember when I first saw what was done back here. I stopped way over there by the sidewalk and looked in. And then I came over for a closer look. That's what murals like this do. They draw our attention and change our perception. A mural like this has the power to turn a once forgotten scary alley into a vibrant cultural landmark. Now I've spoken with a lot of people who live and work in this area and a common observation is that although bare walls still attract a lot of graffiti, the murals don't. So the conclusion is that murals can play an important role in graffiti reduction. Now once I was drawn to this space, I noticed that there's a business back here called the Lux Lounge and it's got this really cool patio. Now I encourage you to come back here and check this place out. And I hope you are starting to see what I mean by potential. Because with a few small creative upgrades and innovations, this back alley is really starting to become a great place. Now although this alley has a lot of potential, there's still a lot of challenges. Like this boarded up building. Why is this building abandoned? What is holding the owner back from operating this building at a profit? Is it because of zoning limitations or city utility costs? What needs to be done in order to attract investment? Downtown Red Deer has a lot of potential and it has a lot more potential if we embrace our back alleys. So what are some of the positive design features that we need to focus on? Let's talk about more murals and more alleyway access for customers. Let's minimize the amount of scary hiding spots either by not building them or by having better lighting and more eyes on the street. Let's do something better with our garbage bins and consider planting some trees or even better, some micro parks that connect the alley to the street. And let's encourage more back alley patios. Back alleys can be designed for many more uses than we currently set for them. And if done right, they can attract positive economic activity and be culturally vibrant. Let's have the conversation. Please check out my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and my Twitter handle. Cheers.